Hey y'all, it's Emily Jeffrey coming to you today on this beautiful day in May, and I realized that it sounded like a rhyme, but I'm not trying to do that, and it's so hard to believe that it's actually the last week in May. Uh, but I had a video for you today, and I'm becoming a really big fan of doing these videos where I have an image as I'm talking to you because I like to implant images in your mind. And the question I have for you today is, do you want to succeed as much as you can breathe? You know, someone asked me that one time, and I saw this really popular video on YouTube about um, uh, the story of the man who asked the young man if he wanted to succeed as much as he can breathe. And he said, well, yes. And then he dunked him underwater and held him down until he couldn't breathe anymore. Well, a lot of the times it's hard to to really take that in until you're in a situation yourself where you really want to succeed. Now say someone doesn't dunk your head underwater, but um, say you have a goal. There's something that you desperately want, whether it's to get into the best physical shape that you can be, or to travel to an amazing destination you've always wanted to go, or maybe it's to make a lot of money, maybe it's to win the Olympic gold medal, maybe it's to become an actor or a director, whatever it is. And you say that you want to do it, because I really believe when we have goals, it's in our nature to want to succeed. But we have so many things that come in that knock us off, off our focus, knock us off our feet, and we very easily, willingly accept our defeat. And those are called excuses because you can accomplish anything that you want, my friend. And what it looks like to want to succeed as bad as you can breathe is to simply not accept any of your excuses. For instance, I have started working in the company that I am now uh, earlier this year. And when I first joined, I just didn't have my head in the right game, and my one of my leaders simply asked me, do you want this as bad as you can breathe? And I thought about it, and I almost said, well, obviously not. I, you know, you've got to breathe, but uh, I don't want this more than I can breathe. But I stopped myself and realized I need to change my words, my thinking, my actions if I'm going to get to the goals that I so desperately wanted to get to for so long. So, as soon as you have a thought of doubt, you kill it and you keep moving forward. As soon as you have uh, people come up to you and tell you they can't do it, uh, don't receive it. Simply say, I appreciate your concern, but I am. And uh, this is why I love this picture of this girl reaching for the stars, as they say. Um, but it's what I like about it is that it's her focus is on the star. She's not focused on that she's too short to reach it, or that uh, it's too high above her, or the fact that she can't, you know, maybe there's not a ladder or a step stool in the room. She's just focused on the star and getting to it. And that's what, that's how you have to become with your goals. You have to focus on them so much that everything else simply becomes irrelevant. When you have obstacles, stop focusing on them. Focus on what can I do now to reach my goals? Because, friends, I can tell you, I've had so many obstacles come up that I've had some really good excuses why I couldn't do whatever. But when I started focusing on that, guess what? I stayed in the same situation that I had been in, you know, for the past few years and just stayed that way. But when you start focusing on, okay, because we, let's be real here, we all have 24 hours in a day, and we all have skill sets. So if you have a goal and you start focusing on, okay, I have this going for me and this going for me, what can I do today that will move me a step closer to my goal? It doesn't matter if you, have, you hear of other stories of people succeeding basically overnight or making hundred thousand dollars in six months stop listening to that stop comparing yourself to other others and just start moving towards your goal what are your goals stop comparing yourself to others stop stressing and just focus on what it is you can do today because if you really want to get to your goal if you really want it as bad as you can breathe all your excuses and obstacles just become irrelevant 
So that gives you an idea of what wanting to succeed as much as you can breathe feels like and looks like. Let me know, comment below, and if you have been struggling for so long, say, you know, in the online business world, if you've been struggling and you really want to work with a team that is committed to helping each other, that know what they're doing and are um, succeeding because they've gotten over their excuses and their obstacles and are bringing tons of traffic to them, then I wouldn't wait any longer and I would click the link below this video and uh, get your email on the list and connect with us on Facebook and Skype and we'll show you what we're doing to bring in much success because guys I've had more success in the past couple of weeks than I've had in the past five years so don't waste any more time click the link below get over those obstacles we'll see you on the other side take care y'all bye bye